Hello and welcome, this is Carlos Bostria from Corvus Belli Studios and this is a Defiance update film here in the Corvus Belli super high-tech studios. Connie is behind the camera cutting and editing this video for you. So today here we're going to make a deep inside the unboxing of Revenant, the last expansion of Defiance, which was the successful crowdfunding campaign of the Dungeon Crawler in Infinity Universe made by Corvus Belli. So, we are going to open this box, check out the contents and then go deeply with the miniatures and the profiles and the cards so you can take an inside look of the box that you are going to receive this summer, ok? So, are we ready? Let's go! So, Revenant, Last Defiance Expansion, let's take a quick inside look at the contents of the box. Here we go! Revenant, ok? We rise the top of the box like this and we have first cardboard the the tiles for the heroes okay then oh very colorful adventure tiles here is the the market on one of the carabasars in infinity universe lovely desert theme and more carabasar okay so we have more tiles now we have tokens for all the adventurers and all the figures that you might need. VIP, the, the Aristella Hoats over there. Okay, the campaign rulebook, fine. Little cardboard here. Don't worry because we are going to go uh, in detail with this. Six miniatures, okay. Six bags, just six miniatures in this box, okay. The bases. Enemy cards, okay, and adventure cards. We will take a look at this and two USA mini decks of skills, equipment, abilities, enemies. Okay, we will go deep with this. This has been the little unboxing of the Revenant expansion. Okay, so let's check out the heroes from Revenant. Let's begin with, I think it's the most important one. It's Jan Star. Star has two A's, okay, not Jan Star. Okay, so Jan is a Toha hero. Here we have the miniature is in a very dynamic pose. Let's check out the pieces that allows them to four pieces, okay. Pistol, leg, body, naginata, right there. And when you assemble and put it together, he will look like this. Okay, this is Jan Star. So we take a look at his uh, profile, okay, has two most uh, many important skills. Cute and imposter, you may reroll a single die from the enemy roll when they attack you from range 3 or higher. And Korata, which is the uh, combat language of the of the Toha. Once per roll, you may reroll the dice from which you got a blank face if there is at least one character other than remotes in the same tile as you. Okay, and above that, let's check out his basic equipment because it's very interesting. Borne, Net Israel Sword, and Endgame Symbiote. Okay, Borne is the Symbion armor. Okay, is this card that I have here in my hand. That is allows the, uh, him to uh, place up to four wounds on that card. So he will carry the Symbion armor like this because uh, it's attached to the to the head and armor uh, value, he can take four wounds and also the symbiote armor allows him to carry symbiote bombs and he has by default the end game symbiote bomb that is flip this card to inflict four wounds to an enemy in range one to four and you may uh, have only one symbiote bomb in your inventory. So very cool adaptation from infinity here uh, for, for this character. Apart from that he is carrying one sword here, the Net Israel Sword, which is blue and yellow and uh, allows uh, with the two specials to displace yourself and with one shield inflict one wound to the target up to a maximum of three times per roll. So there you go. Very interesting character with lots of potential to, to be played. Okay. Moving on, let's check out the other main character from this expansion, which is Kendrat. Okay. Allow me to clean this tray. This is Kendrat, female, heroic, Morat, okay. These are the three pieces that assemble the character. The head and the, and the arm is 
together in one piece, okay? When you assemble Kendrat, the miniature ends up looking like this, which is something really spectacular in my opinion, very cool miniature for such a crazy concept because it's like a crackpot renegade female heroic morat something like this could end up looking horrifying in my opinion okay? but the execution of everything has ended up giving us this lovely miniature so because if you think about it uh, an artist with no skills can really mess up this thing this looks awesome okay this is kendra let's check out her profile Kinematic, you may displace after resolving a defense role. Every time she defends herself, she can displace herself. Super useful. Charge, shotguns only take one hand equipment slot in your character card. So she can carry two weapons, two two-handed weapons when it's time to, to talk about shotguns. 12 energy points, okay, movement 5. She's a fighter, she's going to be demolishing. Very interesting character, okay. Moving on, let's take a look at more characters from this expansion, okay? Now it's time to talk about Father Losing Esforza. These are the pieces that you will assemble in order to make Father Losing Esforza. Legs and terrain comes in one piece, body and trench coat, and the arms when you put together. This is the final result. This is Father Losing Esforza 3D miniature, okay? Something that has not yet arrived to infinity properly, okay? We have the old miniature. But this is Father Esforza. Let's check out his skills. Contacts. Draw one card from the loot deck the first time you interact with a neutral character. Ah, fine, okay. Gotcha. You may impose the targeted state on an enemy in line of sight once per activation. That's it, okay. Medium tactical armor, nanotech ammunition, an automatic kit, rifle, okay, so nice, nice character. And. Re uh, remember that uh, with expansions you will interact more with neutral characters, so probably Sforza will get a lot of loot cards doing that. Moving on, Valeria Gromos, which is a character that I like a lot because I designed Valeria Gromos back in the day, and I like a lot how she looks in this new miniature, okay, this new 3D miniature that hasn't yet arrived to infinity, so the Defiance backers are the privileged ones to, to enjoy Valeria Gromos. Okay, just three pieces. The hair, <laughs> the body, and the and the pores in a center way. Okay, when you put together all those pieces, you will get this female lovely model of a adventurer hacker in the human sphere. Let's check out her skills. Defensive hacker. You may add blocks to your hacking rolls. Uh, one block to your hacking rolls, fine. War driver, roll yellow. When you acquire a hacking device or software, subtract one from their BTS or uh, data comms value for each special you obtain. Minimum cost, zero. So very, very, very specialized in hacking rolls here, as a hacker should be, obviously. Hacking device, spotlight, Gromos gaze, and automatic kit, apart from a rifle. So, lovely, Valeria Gromos, now, only for you, Defiance Backers, okay? The rest of us will have to wait, okay? Moving on, and we have something extra extraordinary special here. Because Cassandra Kusanagi, yes, she has arrived to Infinity already with a blister pack with a speed fair in her hands, but this figure, this version of Cassandra Kusanagi is absolutely stunning. One of the most elegant figures from the whole crowdfunding campaign. Uh, four pieces, okay, when you assemble together you have this delightful miniature, look at this. This is the miniature that I want, really, I mean, for playing with vacuuming in Infinity, I want this version of, of Cassandra Kusanagi, stunning, really. Cassandra Kusanagi, leader, faith drives us. All characters, except remotes, may displace at the beginning of your activation. That's it. That's a leader. Everybody can displace. Okay. Second skill, observance. Each round you may add one success to your roll the first time you declare an attack. That's it. That's it. That, that's easy. You know, easy skills. Like that. Medium tactical armor, rifle, and automatic kit for Cassandra Kusanagi. The skills are super useful. I mean, no-brainer. <laughs> and finally, the leader of the White Company, John Hogwood, also a leader. We have the pieces here, allow me to clean the tray, 
and I'm going to put the miniature right here. John Hogwood, very important character because the white company, white company sucks. You know that. Mixing panel and using units, such a blasphemy. Okay, so the pieces are here, three pieces, arm, arm and body. There you go. When you assemble John Hogwood, he will look like this. Like this, like this, like this. Take a look at the leader of the White Company, okay? Let's check out his skills then. Post human, at the beginning of your activation, you may impose the focus state on yourself. Like that. Okay. So, an extra yellow dice. Tactical Expert, flip the initiative deck at the beginning of the mission. Initiative cards must be face up all, at all times. Well, that's fine. The, 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 then you know the order of activation of all the uh, enemies. Medium tactical armor, rifle, and item medikit. Basic loadout, okay, for this character. So, what do you think about these characters, these heroes for Defiance? Tell us what you think in the comments in the section down below. Now, with Revenant, you can play Defiance with up to 18 characters. Six, six, and six, okay. Core, Outcast, and Revenant. 18 characters. Enough to really have such a variety experience so to invite your friends come home hey choose one of these 18 characters to play the campaign so if we think about it we have like i have written down here core box with 14 miniatures okay collector's box with 29 miniatures outcast with 10 plus 4 14 miniatures revenant with six more miniatures and then the megalodrum everything adds up to 64 miniatures the whole kickstarter campaign has been a blast and a lot of work for corvus belly to produce really so we check out the enemy cars let's take a look at them So we check the enemy card that comes in the Revenant box. Let's take a look at them. Okay, so we have here a little card, a little deck of uh, Toha enemies. So Nima Satar is here. So Nima Satar has Shock Close Combat Weapon, Breaker Combat Rifle, Nano Pulser, it's hackable. Okay, huge BTS, huge defense, th uh, 13 uh, health points. Okay, fine. Igao unit, one of lovely miniature. Okay, DACC weapon. That uh, with two special has another success to the roll. Boarding shotgun. Stun grenades when deploying impose the stun state to all characters in range 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, Toha enemies. So, they hunt uh, Jan Star for some reason. Okay, we can probably there's a Toha plot over there. So, also JSA figures as enemies with a ninja with close combat weapon, tactical bow, and Tio camouflage. Okay, with the Tanko, lovely miniature here, with monofilament weapon, oh my god, target's armor cannot modify their uh, armor roll, target suffers one consequence if Tanko inflicts at least one wound, oh my god, okay, so machine gun, <laughs> something scary here, really, absolutely, Lion Cossacks, okay, uh, or the Tartari Army Corps as enemies, also, with the veteran Cossack, with Chichu Rifle, okay, with the... Double-sided dog warrior, dog face enemy. Okay, that is so cool. Transmutation. Remove all wounds and state tokens when they receive five wounds or more. Flip this card. Five wounds and then ten wounds the warrior. Oh my god. Total immunity. Remove all the state tokens they have at the beginning of the activation. Oh my god. Okay, something to be scared. Hack Islam as enemies with Tariq Mansuri, Amir of Kaborix. Amir of Kaborix. The replacement value of the Kawarik unit is zero if Tariq Mansuri is on the board. There you go. Zero reinforcement uh, tokens needed to bring more Kawariks on the table. And Kawarik. CC weapon and rifle. Okay. Impose the poison state to the target if it inflicts at least one wound. There you go. Poisonous Hakislam warriors. Very cool. Also, heroes as enemies here with Kendrat, Jan Star, Cassandra Kusanagi. John Hotwood, Vasily Plushenko also, Uhahu from, from Outrage, so lots of characters here. More stuff, more escorts, remember the, the high command skill that allows you to bring escorts to the table? We have here McMurrow, Major Luna, Shona Carano, Tao Wu, and Valkyr. Valkyr, people were asking about this one specifically, she is an escort in Revenant, that can, you can bring her to the table, okay. And also, San very familiar, funny civilians for Aristea players, which are the four uh, hosts from 
de TV Broadcast of Aristella, ok, Final Boss, Lidia Vázquez, Bisman Mahoney, and Rod Bouso, ok, Rod Bouso, Harness Target, all enemies will always choose him as the target of an attack as long as the range and line of sight requirements are met, ok, because he's super green, ok. There you go, that is what Revenant brings to the table in order to make and satisfy you with the whole Platinum Pledge of Defiance, okay, so you can have hours and hours of gameplay, enjoying Infinity Universe with colorful dice and very straightforward mechanics that allows everybody to enjoy this. This has been Carlos Bostria making an unboxing of Revenant, thank you so much for your attention, stay tuned, bye!